uh, standing in Washington Park or Washington Square or City Hall Park, and it's got uh, many memorials to the heroes of the city, including the one to Beauregard that's right behind me. Beauregard, um, in a quick um, capsule, is the Confederate defender of the city of Charleston, and he really did defend the city in two eras of it during the Civil War when it was um, under attack. Um, actually, you know, he precipitated one of the first attacks, you know, the starting of the Civil War, the firing on Fort Sumter, that was under Beauregard's direction. And when the city was under siege in 1863 and 1864 under Union forces, he's the one who defended the city. So the city very grateful to him and, you know, after the Civil War, um, lots of memorializing going on throughout the South and the city of Charleston as well. And so then, in gratitude to him, the city raised this monument, um, you know, to Beauregard for defending it in one of the most crucial hours of its history. Um, you know, in 1861, um, crisis was coming. The, the Civil War was on the verge of, of starting. Um, the, these, the Confederate States of America and the United States of America were going to go to war over a tiny piece of real estate in Charleston Harbor named Fort Sumter. And Beauregard was the Confederate defender of the city. He, was the, he had the honor, the distinction, um, or the responsibility um, to um, interact with Major Anderson, the Union um, defender of Fort Sumter, to tell him that if he did not surrender, he was going to have to fire on him, and, and, and Anderson refused to surrender. So Beauregard was the one who gave the order that started the hostilities on April 12, 1861, and started the Civil War. Um, so this one particular action um, really had in incredible repercussions for this country and actually for the world.